Kenny Sunderland, fifth time in as many months. Uh, must be getting fed up with the sight of them. No, not at all. I mean, you play the big games and, and this is a big game against the big clubs and they don't come any bigger than Sunderland, one of the biggest clubs in the country. And, you know, we're, we're pleased to be in a position over the last couple of seasons we've been competing with them. And, and we have, we've genuinely competed with them. And uh, we hope we can do ourselves justice and uh, uh, go and uh, put on a good performance again on Saturday. When you go to a ground like that, what do you do? Do you go out to silence the crowd initially? You just go to try to uh, um, win if you can, however that is. If silence in the crowd is, is part of it, then fine, that's no problem. But you know, ultimately, in the end, you have to play well yourself, whatever uh, the opposition and the, and the standard of the opposition uh, and the club you're playing against. Um, you know, We feel that um, in terms of our season so far, um, we were disappointed at Shrewsbury. I don't think we necessarily deserved to lose. Um, we were quite solid and competitive, but even so, we were looking for better, just in terms of a performance ourselves. Uh, our two home games then were slightly different, uh, different types of games, but um, hopefully we've, we've, we've built, uh, we've improved, and we can take that on, and we can um, uh, go into two very difficult games now over, over a few, few days, Sunderland away, then Coventry at home. You know, Two good clubs, two good teams, and uh, we'll, we'll have to be at our best to get points. Both sides have changed somewhat since the last time you met Sunderland. Yes, that's true. And, and the summer always brings you know, some situations that either come to a head within your own squad, which happen with us, or, or, or um, some fresh recruitment. Um, you, you, you do want uh, it to be positive by the end. And while we're, you know, our dy dynamics of our group are, are quite different, where we've, you know, we've lost some strengths, but we felt we've gained some as well. And um, uh, overall, there's a really good attitude amongst our players. And I, I am pleased with that. Uh, the commitment, uh, uh, the work rate, the attitude, uh, the desire it, it is there at the moment. And um, that will only bring out any quality that we have. Two clean sheets in the last week and it's been quite solid. Yeah, it has, but there's bigger tests, no disrespect uh, to the sides that we've played. There's, there's, there's harder tests ahead as well. And over the course of the season, you know, to be a... A successful team, you have to be zeros and ones against, you know, in that, in that goals against column. That that will then give you a, a base to work off. It's not everything. You can't just work at clean sheets being uh, uh, all of it because you know that is uh, not enough. But but similarly, it's you know of, of your good teams, you do need that solidness. Um, we we feel for our centre half positions, we've got some good choices and some experienced players. But after that, we have to work at it. We have to work at it very very hard as a unit, as a team, to make sure that uh, we can keep ourselves in games which then gives us a chance for our, our, our play going forward to be effective and um, you know, make, make sure that then uh, that edge counts. wouldn't think there's too many changes to make to the side. No there isn't and um, uh, uh, there's, there's in terms of players coming back you know James Bolton has, has trained all week which is which is good really good and is added to the uh, added to the group and the squad. Uh, cur currently now uh, we have we have just Ollie Hawkins just struggling with, you know, a, a foot injury which should only keep him out a few days. And, and um, uh, uh, Ryan Williams and Bryn Morris, you know, they're the three guys that are unavailable for us at the moment. And then after that we go up with everybody else, and, and it's quite a strong group and a strong squad. A rather of those a concern for you those injuries? No, they're not. You know, we don't think that they're long-term ones, but similarly. They have to be right when they do come back, and and have had interrupted pre-seasons. But you can get over that. Uh, it's not uh, um, an exact science necessarily, and um, we'll, you know, with, with the right attitude and then uh, the correct amount of treatment and training, you know, they can hit the ground running. They can get up to speed quickly, and all of those guys can play a real big part in our season. The epitome of spirit is probably somebody like Ben Close for you, who was left out in the opening game, came back with. A vengeance and and uh, scored two terrific goals. Yeah, and and for you know, Ross McCrory going the other way, so some some great displays in pre-season. You know, Ross had after joining us on loan from Rangers, and then and then unfortunately gets sent off in the first game. I mean, it was there's only two fouls of that particular game, and um, uh, uh, and then you know, speaking to him as a manager, you're looking to try to get the balance right in midfield. Uh, brings the the likes of. Uh, of Andy Cannons in, and and as you say, for Ben Close, it's proved you know, quite good for us in terms of balance at home. Whether that's the same away from home, I don't know. I think it might be slightly different. Um, uh, but we have good good options of different types of players in there, and and for Ross anyway, um, it, it, you know he can learn from that, and, and uh, um, you know he's had an excellent pre-season. 
he'll be you know pushing to get back in the side. He's he's capable and, and is is a different type of player from Cannons and 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 uh, and Ben Close and and Tom Naylor. And I do think then of of any sort of combinations of two or three of those guys, uh, we're well covered and gives us good options. Given Ross's loan deal, is there any pressure you feel to play him? No, there isn't, but he, he has come to play, definitely. But similarly, if you're looking at what he's done so far, he's, he's a really good player and had an excellent pre-season. We could say he was unlucky or is it a learning curve to be sent off. He missed a game and obviously then the, the team's settled down since then. But both of those are home games and this is an away game. So, you know, it is slightly different. I think I've got good options. And, and as I said, you know, for, for McCrory, um, I think he's a good player. He's, he's, he's impressed everybody since he's been here. Uh, ben Close has just gone from strength to strength, definitely, uh, since you know getting back in the side when when Ben Thompson left last season. Uh, for Andy Cannon, slightly different. It's such a frustrating second half of the season, but it does feel like a new player, and uh, you know he's, he's he's taken to it very well. Two good performances so far, I think. And he got a lovely. St- standing ovation when he walked around the pitch. Yeah, our crowd are fantastic, and, and if you can, uh, uh, you know. Put the effort in like he does, you know. Brings uh, uh, both tenacity and quality to a midfield, and and I, and I do feel knits it together at the right time. Now he has to start adding shots uh, and um, uh, get you know killer balls, which you know which he's capable of. He has a low centre of gravity, can shift it to one side, and does it in in, in training regularly. Sh- shoots very well off either foot, but he can add that to, to to whatever already is a you know quite a tenacious game in midfield, and at the right time can can bring a lot for us. And as I said, I do feel in terms of you know those guys, there's there's um, a good balance there, a good complement, and uh, you know hopefully throughout the course of a season, good choices for me.